Okay, so we are going to analyze the chord sheet to Oh Come All You Faithful. Uh, again, this was printed out with too many chords. Just the first, uh, the first search result that came up. <clears throat> and so, let's just take this. Uh, <clears throat> oh, come, all ye, all ye faithful be. Maybe it'll be helpful if I go like this. No, no. Uh, <clears throat> then back to E. Joyful and triumphant. Okay, so I skipped over these chords. Oh, I need something flat to write on. Uh, I do need something flat to write on. Okay. Oh, come all ye faithful, that chord is good. Joyful, that chord is good. And triumphant, that's too many chords, so we'll get rid of that. And triumphant, keep this one B, we don't need the repetition. Oh, come, very beautiful chording. Come ye, too many chords, let's just get rid of this one. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye, let's keep that. To Beth, once again, an extra little chord thrown in here just to confuse everybody. Come ye, oh come ye too. So here we have a cadence, B, F sharp, B. <clears throat> we need to keep the cadence because um, that's uh, iconic of the song. And so it's going to be kind of hard for guitarists to do it, but one thing that you can say, say to your... Uh, Say to your guitarist is, <clears throat> I apologize, but there's, uh, in our cadences, it's chord, chord, chord. If you can hit it, hit it. If not, just stay on the first chord, on the B. Uh -oh. Again, a cadence is, at the end of a phrase, you have usually, a, uh, this here is a 1-5-1. A one, one. Or it's a B, F sharp. F sharp major B. So we have, here's what we have so far. Oh, oh come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Cadence is uh, <clears throat> iconic of this song. So let's keep going. Come, come and me hold. That's a weird chord. Come and me hold him. Come and me hold him. So here, um, we have something that doesn't work. Come and me hold him. <coughs> This this works, the E works, the B does not. None of the notes that we sing, the notes that we sing are not a B, they're really an A. So you can either change this to an A. Come and behold him. Let's try it with the F sharp. <clears throat> Come and behold him. Nope, that doesn't work either. So, come and behold him. The F sharp minor does work. So let's change that to an F sharp minor. <clears throat> Scratching out the B, we got F sharp minor. Come and behold him. Too many chords. An extra chord thrown in for fun on the syllable means nobody can play it. Come and be. Few people can play it. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. This chord is definitely out. <clears throat> Let's check that out. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. That's great. And songwriting using common chord progressions is great. 
we have just a simple walk up. Come and me hold him, F sharp minor, born the king of angels. A to B. E, E, F sharp, A, B. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. That's all that's good. Oh, come, let I don't know what that chord is. I'd say not a good chord. Come, let us adore him. Cry, Christ the Lord. So we could go, oh, come, let us adore him. Take out, uh, come, let us adore be him. Cry, what is all this up here? Too many chords. Um, Christ the Lord. Here we have a cadence. We want to keep the cadence. So, oh, what is that? Oh, come, oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Perfect. Um, this would just be a B. Again, we don't want over chords in general. You don't want over chords. You want to let the basses figure out the walk ups themselves. In songwriting, I actually do use a lot of over chords, but uh, very simple ones. Uh, like D over F sharp, that's a pretty common one. A over C sharp, E over G sharp, um, C over B. And what, what is the other one? C, A, A over C sharp. I already said that. A over C sharp. C over B, D over F sharp. E over G sharp and G over B. No, it'd be C over E. C over E is the common one and then G over B. Those those ones I'll use all the other ones I usually skip. Unless it's really important. I'll put the whole chord down. So okay. So that's it, and we copy that for the rest of the songs and verses. And you can use wide out and then your sheet's done, or you can retype one out. It doesn't matter how you do it in the digital age. I think it's easier to just probably scan that and use like Microsoft Paint or something to edit in your own chords and then create a PDF. <clears throat> That's pretty nice. That way the format's the same. Eight and a half by 11 works. And then email it to your worship team. So that's all we got. Let's uh, play through it one more time here. <clears throat> oh, come all ye faithful joyful and triumphant O oh, come ye O oh, come ye to Bethlehem Oops. Come and behold him born the king of angels O oh, come let I put it in these suspended for fun O oh, come let us adore him O oh, come let us adore him Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Sweet. Done. Quick and easy.